Hello, dear traders. I think uh, it would be appropriate if I also express some thoughts regarding a whole developments involving meta quotes. Um, first and foremost, allow me to emphasize, okay, many people are not aware of this. MT4 and MT5 together capture 83.8% of the total market share in 22. I myself am pretty de dependent on MT4 for my own trading, for uh, the MK web and everything. Many people around the world, thousands of people have worked years, decades on indicators, expert advisors, scripts, all these kinds of programs. They use it in their trading, okay, automated trading, manual trading, etc. And as an experienced trader, I can tell you um, MT4 is superior to many platforms. You can't simply replace it, all right? It is very, very friendly for traders. Especially MT4, I'm, uh, not a big fan of MT5. And as a footnote here, the best thing MetaQuotes can do in the future is to create MT6, which would be compatible for both MT4 and MT5 indicators and EAs. If they manage to do that, I tell you, their market share would be secured for another long time to come. If both platforms would support, uh, like a new platform would support the indicators and EAs and scripts of both MT4 and MT5 together. That would be a breakthrough. Because most traders would, of course, continue to stick to this platform because of all the tools which have been developed. Okay? So, personally, I've tried many platforms over the years. I am a big MT4 fan. I still use MT4. I don't plan to change that. Now, what happened uh, recently... Uh, let's go back in time. Many people aren't aware of this. So first of all, the App Store had banned the MT4 platform. That was first. Many people forget that. Because the US regulators have tightened their regulation. And then later on in response, MetaQuotes, which is a Russian company, has basically restricted uh, the service for any US clients around the world. This is massive, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, That means that MetaQuotes is not willing to supply the MT4, MT5 platforms to prop firms which serve you as clients. That is massive. So um, what's happening now is some prop firms, they try to switch to other new platforms, which I do not appreciate. I think MT4 cannot easily be replaced. It's just a fact. It would take years, if not decades, to create all the content out there for a new platform. and um, But obviously, all parties try to resolve the current situation. And literally, if you're a US client, if you're American, you are basically effectively not allowed to use um, a prop firm offering MT4. Now, I'm in Europe, so that doesn't affect myself personally, but of course, any American traders, for them, it's a big restriction. Now, um, we have to see how this whole situation develops. Because, uh, as a footnote here, the U.S. has tightened restrictions regarding um, short-term trading in the U.S. Okay, They want to literally ban any CFD contract for difference trading for U.S. citizens. And again, that's a big, big uh, restriction, okay? So, of course, we don't know what will happen in the future, whether US clients will try to counter that so that maybe this uh, regulation is adjusted. That's one scenario, even though it seems to be less likely right now. Or whether companies will simply not offer the services to US clients. Or whether there will be new companies which um, create services that can be offered to US clients under certain conditions. That remains to be seen. I don't know the answer right now. So this is a, a big, big development right now. Um, if you ask my personal opinion, you can't easily replace MT4. It's simply not feasible. And some companies will... Try that nevertheless. Let's see what happened in response. It's a pity that on both sides, let's say, um, things turn so sour. 
and that the interests of clients are not really taken into account. You have to understand often lawmakers uh, and these kind of people, they do not really take into consideration the interest of the clients, the users, the traders in this case, which is a pity. But of course, you can understand also MetaQuote's response because after they were taken off the, the App Store, I mean, um, and after all this new re regulation was passed, they are not willing to take any risk in that regard, which is very understandable in all fairness. They will not take risks of, of getting fined or, or even worse, yeah, to lose their business license, etc. What I can say is our MK Web, it's web-based, so no matter what trading platform you use for your trade execution, if you subscribe to the MK Web, <laughs> that's no problem. You can see the analysis, the tools, the data on the MK Web screens, and you can do the trade execution on whatever platform. That's the beauty of it. And uh, for now, all these things here do not really affect us, as you can imagine. Okay. So let's see what happens in the future. I wish you all the best.